left. <laughs> he couldn't have just left. And to think that that was, that was the last thing that my friend saw. She was terrorized to death, literally. This is Love Hurts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future content. Houston, Texas is the most popular city in Texas and the fourth most popular city in the United States. With its diversity, impressive job opportunities, low cost of living, and year-round warm weather, it's the perfect place to live and raise a family. It's no wonder 49-year-old Robin Simpson picked this southern city to call home. Robin Simpson was beautiful, educated, kind, and gentle. Originally from Philly, she definitely had that Philly vibe. Just looking at her beautiful face and perfect skin, I immediately hear Philly artist Bilal playing in the background, specifically his song Soul Sister. Although Philly was in Robin's heart, she eventually headed down south and settled down in Houston, Texas. She was a proud member of the Delta Sigma Theta sorority and she worked as a social worker. She had no shortage of friends and family that loved her. From co-workers to fellow sorority sisters, everyone absolutely adored Robin. She was always smiling. She was always happy. She was such a positive person. She was the type that would give you her very last with no questions asked. Robin was married to 58-year-old Michael Simpson. The two had been married for 12 years, and together they built a beautiful life. In 2015, they welcomed their very first child, a baby girl. She was the apple of both of their eyes. They were completely in love with her and each other. As a family, they loved spending time together. One of their favorite things to do was travel the world and visit new places like Mexico City. It was nothing for them to just pick up and go to Orlando or New Orleans for a family getaway. From the outside looking in, they had the perfect family. Things couldn't have been any better and it was like that for years. They had no drama. It was just a beautiful couple that created a beautiful family living a dream life. But things started to shift and take a turn for the worst in the summer of 2023. Michael lost his job. He just couldn't bring himself to tell Robin so he kept it from her. He assumed he would be able to lock in a new gig before she found out but it never happened. And as the months went on, Michael grew more and more depressed and stressed. He started having thoughts of harming himself. Robin knew something was off, so she began questioning him. And finally, he told her the truth about his job situation. And this caused a bit of tension between the couple. Not because he had lost his job, but because he hid the truth from her. She was his wife. They were supposed to be a partnership. She just felt like he should have told her from the very beginning. She tried to support him in any way possible, but his behavior, it just gradually became more and more erratic. He started talking about suicide. I mean, he was literally spiraling out of control right before her eyes, and she felt powerless to stop him until finally things hit rock bottom. On November 1st of 2023 at about 4 a.m., Robin made a call to 911 stating that her husband was having a major mental health crisis. She told dispatchers that he was running around with a knife, threatening to harm her, their daughter, and himself. According to police, when they arrived, they didn't hear anything at the front door, so they went around to the back where they noticed an 8-year-old girl running out of a bedroom upstairs. Police then went back to the front door and made entry, at which point the little girl told them daddy is stabbing mommy. When police entered the home, they saw an absolutely horrific scene. In an upstairs bedroom, they found Robin stabbed to death, and Michael was actively stabbing himself. Police were able to subdue him and rush him to the hospital, but it was too late for Robin. It's hard to think of anything worse than a child witnessing their mother's murder. And this friend of the victim that I spoke with says he never saw anything like this coming. 39-year-old Robin Simpson stabbed to death in her own home. I got into the office this morning about like 9 o'clock, and I got a phone call, and 
I just, I couldn't believe it. Antoine Fleming has worked with Simpson for years. He says she's a social worker from Philly who loved her daughter. She was just a good person. She was, um, she was more than a social worker. She was more than a mother. She was more than a wife. She was more than a friend. She was just a big part of my family's life. And that just doesn't go away. Police say early morning on November 1st, Simpson called 911 from her Sunnyside home. The mother, the wife called in stating uh, that her husband was having uh, a major crisis, was running around with a knife, thinking about suicidal thoughts. When police arrived, they found Simpson dead with multiple stab wounds. Her husband, identified by friends as Michael Simpson, had apparently stabbed himself as well. Police say the couple's eight-year-old daughter witnessed all of it. The little girl said, uh, Daddy's stabbing Mommy. Plumbing says he never saw this tragedy coming. It just doesn't make sense. It still doesn't seem real. And wants anyone in a violent relationship to seek help. It's not worth your life. Because once you're gone, you're gone. And your family members and your friends are here to try to pick up the pieces. We're still waiting for police to officially identify this killer and for charges to come down. When that happens, we'll keep you updated on air and on fox26houston.com. I'm Abigail Dye, Fox 26 News. Michael was immediately arrested and charged with murder and aggravated assault. He remains in a hospital under police custody. But Robin's family and friends can't help but wonder if police had entered the home immediately upon arrival instead of listening at the front door and then going to the back door to peer through windows, would Robin still be alive? Family is searching for answers after a mother's violent murder earlier this week. Investigators say her husband stabbed her to death. Now the victim's family is questioning the response time of the police. ABC 13's Alex Bozarjian has the latest. The family wants to know how long it took police to show up after the victim called 911. We did go to HPD for those answers, but what I can tell you is an officer on scene told us that they didn't go into that home until the eight year old girl came out and said, Daddy is stabbing mommy. Not stabbed, but actively stabbing. When I knew he couldn't stab me, Auntie, I ran. A conversation Michelle Martin says she never thought she'd be having with an eight-year-old child she calls her adopted niece. The child's mother, Robin Simpson, is Martin's longtime best friend. On Wednesday, HPD responded to Robin's house around 4 a.m. She called 911, saying her husband was threatening her and their eight-year-old daughter with a knife. I to think that that was, that was the last thing that my friend saw. She was terrorized to death, literally. Police say Robin died on scene from stab wounds. Her husband, Michael Simpson Jr., is now charged for her murder. He was also charged with aggravated assault for threatening their eight-year-old daughter. Simpson, according to police, also stabbed himself and survived. They got there just in the nick of time to save him, right? He got saved, and I was... You know, I can't help but think if they had got there five more minutes, two more minutes, I don't know, would she have been saved? Martin says Robin told her Simpson began to spiral after losing his job over the summer, something he allegedly kept from Robin. Last weekend, Martin says Robin told her Simpson was having suicidal thoughts. It wasn't anything that had gone on during the 12 years of the marriage. There was no history of abuse, physical abuse. No physical abuse, no. Robin was just 49 years old and Simpson is 58 years old. Martin says Robin was a social worker, a dedicated mother, and her 50th birthday was coming up. Martin was planning to fly in from Philadelphia and bring a special tiara for her big day. We're still gonna give her a birthday party after her services. We're still this case is still ongoing, so we'll have to wait and see what the outcome is for Michael. But wow, it's just absolutely unfortunate and devastating. Here we have a family that seemingly had the perfect life and the perfect marriage. I mean, from what we know, they had 12 years of pure bliss. No drama, just a beautiful family enjoying each other and traveling. This is just absolutely devastating. And Robin, she did everything by the book. She got an education before marriage. She got married before children. She was a great mother. She was a supportive wife. 
Even after finding out that Michael had lied to her about losing his job, she was still there for him and she still supported him. The fact that this is the final outcome is absolutely mind-blowing. And then for baby girl to have witnessed the whole ordeal, that just breaks my heart. She will never forget the moment that she lost her mom and her dad. If you are in a domestic abuse relationship, please leave. Use the quickest, safest way possible and do not turn back. Turning back can cost you your life. As always, loves, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and hit that notification bell for future content.